Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison coming to you from Sarasota, Florida, live. I am early today on a Facebook Live because of the Super Bowl. So for some of you who may not know what that is, if you don't live in the United States, it is the national championship for the football leagues. And we have, we've had so much activity here already today, it's crazy. Hi Beth, hi Deb. Welcome. I'm so happy to see you guys coming in here. This is a very weird time for me to be live, right? But we have, um, we had to, I had to get up at 4.30 this morning, Eastern time. Oh my gosh. I had to get up super early, Steve and I, and we had to take Jared and Val to the airport to get on their flight. And then when I'm done with this Facebook Live, we have to go back to the airport in Punta Gorda to um, pick up some friends that are coming in to stay with us for a few days. So it's like, I'm like, when am I going to do my Facebook Live? And then once we get back with them, it's going to be, we're going to have dinner and then a Super Bowl. Um, we're going to watch the Super Bowl. So it's like I needed to rearrange. So I'm so glad you guys could be flexible and come in and watch me. And for those of you that are going to be watching later, thank you so much for tuning in. I know this threw everybody's Sunday off, right? Hi, Kelly. I see Dee coming in. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to get myself set up here on my iPad. Whoops, hang on. I forgot to turn the volume down. Nobody needs to hear me twice. I got a big enough mouth one time. Okay, I got my live up here. I just want to make sure. Okay, here comes my um, comments. And let me get myself plugged in. And I heard from so many of you last week that my lighting is really good here. So that's really cool because I, I was seeing a lot of shadows on my screen. So, yeah, Danny says, wow, busy day. I know, right? Oh, my good Lord. So funny story. We dropped Val and um, Jared off at the airport this morning. And Jared said he thought it would probably be better if um, we said our goodbyes in the car, didn't get out and make a big to-do about Val leaving, right? Because... One day, um, Jared and Steve went uh, golfing, and we were out by the car, and then we're like, bye, have fun, and she literally had a complete meltdown. She did not want her papa to leave. <laughs> it was so funny, so she was mad at me for probably a good 45 minutes to an hour, and uh, I got her distracted, and we took a nap, and we went to the pool, and we went over to the store and got ice cream, and we bought a coloring book and <laughs> all kinds of good little things so it was fun um so yeah Steve and Jared went golfing and they played 18 holes they were supposed to start at noon I think and they didn't get home till seven o'clock that night yeah it was crazy so there'll be no more of that <laughs> I think nine holes is enough um, they said that the holes started late and they had some really slow people in front of them, but they did see two huge alligators, and I mean huge alligators, so they had a really good time and I was very happy for them, and Val and I had a great time too, so that was not a big deal, but um, yeah, that was a long day for them and they didn't need to be gone that long, <laughs> I'm just saying. So I have, uh, we got back this morning from dropping Val off and I through the, the bedding in the wash, right? Because we have to wash it because we have other people coming in and got things cleaned up and got the fingerprints off all the glass, I hope. You know, little fingerprints everywhere. And um, I did go back to bed for about an hour. My alarm went off and I'm like, Bleh, are you kidding me? <laughs> so um, then I got up and I had to finish the card that we're making today. We are going to be making that sliding latch card that I have showed you the last couple of weeks. Um, it's a beautiful card that I received in the mail from, hang on, because you know I can't remember anything, Sandy Armstrong. So I'm super excited. We're going to be making that. And then I've got a couple other cute cards to make with you. And who just asked, how is Haley doing without all of us? She did really good, actually. Um, Jared was only gone Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and he got home this morning, um, central time, like 10 a.m. So Haley did a ton of organizing and cleaning yesterday, she told us, and she 
went shopping, took some stuff back to the store that needed to be exchanged, all the things. So she did really, really good. She had to go snowshoeing with her class. She said it was the last thing she wanted to be doing. <laughs> and she sent us a Snapchat picture that said, I'm really worthless on this, on this field trip. Because you guys know she's due in less than a month now. So... <laughs> Oh, and Margaret says, I bet Molly missed you. Well, she's still missing us. And we um, FaceTimed Molly. And uh, she goes, how long are you guys, how much longer are you guys going to be gone? And, and at that time, we said like 28, 20 days, 25 days, something like that. And she goes, oh my gosh, I'm going to die. So <laughs> we'll just keep FaceTiming with her. I wish she had a spring break because I think I would fly her down here. So, yeah. Um, she's definitely missing us and it's going to be her birthday when we get back. Plus we're going to have a new baby shortly after we get back. Fingers crossed it better not. He better not come early. And um, so we'll have a whole flurry of activity happening when we get back. We're not leaving till the 28th. So yeah. Um, so uh, Randy and Lucy update for those of you who may have missed it. Um, because we can't have a John update, because we don't know what's going on with John, we're going to give you a Randy and a Lucy update. And Randy is um, one of the residents in this condo complex that lives on the third floor. And he has a beautiful black lab named Lucy. And she's the sweetest, nicest, kind of the smartest dog that I've seen in a very long time. She is very, very well trained. And I... There's a pond right out here, and I will see her running back and forth because he takes her out there and throws the ball in the pond, throws it down the grass to give her her exercise every day. So, Randy and Lucy. Val loves Lucy. Lucy likes to give her kisses, and Randy doesn't like it when he gives her kisses. <laughs> so it's kind of cute. So Randy's always like, no. And Lucy's always like, let me kiss her. Um, so, Val really likes Lucy. And then Val also met Coco, who's a little Shih Tzu. And um, Charlie, who's a something like Shih Tzu. So there's lots of dogs around here that everybody's out walking that you see every day. Because I've been going twice around the complex. Every day is about 1.2 miles. I know, right? It's nothing like no marathon happening here. But um, at least it's some nice exercise and some nice weather. So my update on Randy and Lucy. Randy hurt his back last week. It went out on him when he was practicing with his driver, I think, and um, he couldn't go golfing the last two times Steve went golfing, but he did go uh, on Friday with Jared and Steve, and they all had a great time. So that's my update. Um, who are you rooting for, my football fans? We've got the Bengals and the Rams in the Super Bowl tonight, and... I am not a fan of either. You guys know that I'm a Green Bay Packer fan. But I kind of like to go for the underdogs since my Packers aren't in there, which was like a real cry fest because they should have been. We all know that. <laughs> I'm rooting for the Bengals. Um, I hope they win. They haven't won in, I don't know, a gazillion years. And go Rams, go Bengals. I see coming in Debbie's for the Rams, Charlene for the Bengals. Yeah, I'm kind of go. I, I'm gonna go with the um, the Bengals. And you know what? <laughs> Who just said? Somebody just said. Uh, Mickey said, "I don't care." I know. I know, right? But I love to watch the commercials because they are usually pretty outstanding, and um, I get a big kick out of them. So we are going to have steak. There's a grill here. Every single um, building has a grill or area has a grill, and so um, I. We, not I, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Steve is going to grill steaks and we got fresh scallops and fresh shrimp from um, the, the little Amish owned grocery store right over here. We walk to it. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight with Mike and Vicki. So that'll be a nice welcome to Florida meal, right? Yeah. And uh, somebody just said, who day? That's right, who day? <laughs> Those of you that have been watching the football um, chatter know what that means. Who day? So, um, a good good supper tonight. I'll probably go into a food coma. Who knows if I'll even make the whole game. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, somebody else. Oh, Sue Marie. Hi, I'm so happy to see you. I'm here. 
I hope you are doing well. And Deb said, I'm with you, Kelly, the Bengals, just because. Yep, just the underdog. I just picked the underdog. Uh, you know, no, no reason. Who's on the road to Nashville? Suzanne, yay! We had a good time in Nashville. Um, it was really fun. So, what else was I going to tell you guys? Um, don't forget that we have the All Together promotion going on. This only lasts until May 2nd with all these fun designer series papers and a really awesome stamp set and set of dies. Yeah, let's see if I can get it up there. I know the words are backwards, but you get the, you get the drift. Um, really, really cool. The designer paper is really neat, you guys, because it's all black and white on one side, which is really fun. Well, it's black, it's black and white on both sides. <laughs> yeah. Oh, goodness. Um, yesterday, we went for a dolphin and manatee boat cruise. And can I just say, Steve won't be going with us again. <laughs> he um, doesn't have a lot of patience for stuff like that. He doesn't like touristy stuff, and it was definitely touristy. And it was almost a bust because we did see some nice houses, but we didn't see any manatees and we almost didn't see any dolphins. And then finally three peeked out and it was, we didn't, we didn't see much of them. <laughs> Val had a good time. Somebody said, how did Val do on the airplane? She did great. Um, we flew, she flew down to Florida last year too, when she was just a one year old. And um, she likes the airplane, so that was cool. And I guess Jared said that she slept almost all the way back to Appleton, so that was really cool. Yay! So um, we have the uh, All Together promotion going on. I have three online classes out there right now. I have the Hello Beautiful, which is a pre-order. Dina Barb and I will be creating and designing those cards this next coming week. So the, um, they're going to be, the, the kits will be shipped out on the 28th. If you order option one, the, your products will get ordered right away and come directly from Stampin' Up. And then the pre-cut cardstock kit will come out the week of the 28th. We also have the Slimline Sayings class, which is super fun. And that brings me, did you guys catch my blog hop this week? I had a blog hop with the One Stamp at a Time blog hop team. And this is a slimline card. They're very tall and they fit in like, if you think about a number 10 envelope or a business size envelope. But yeah, oh, I didn't do anything on the inside. Huh? I, shouldn't, I shouldn't highlight that, should I? <laughs> but yeah, I used the beautiful Daffodil Afternoon. This is one of our free celebration designer series papers. I used that under here with the chevron pattern and then some of those pretty little brushed brass butterflies and I colored my black and white gingham with a daffodil stamp and blend marker so I love love this ribbon because you can do any color that you have alcohol markers in or ink pads for that matter these are slimline envelopes you get a pack of 15 of them and they of course fit perfectly for these slimline cards this is a whole bundle so um that was my blog hop and then this blog hop, they ask us to do a 3D item, and you guys know that I love 3D items. So I made up a little package of chocolate-covered peanuts from the Amish grocery store. And I just put a little um, topper on here, and you'll notice, let's turn this around here so you can see, that this has a fancy edge. That is part of the slimline die set. So you get two edge dies also that are very, very pretty. So yeah, something really super simple. This makes a great little gift. And I was pretty happy with the way that it turned out. Uh, next up, if you missed last week's Facebook Live, oh, we did TV cards and weren't they fun, you guys? I had such a good time with these. We used little dots of Velcro. And I have on my blog all the dimensions, a replay of that video, and also a picture of the Velcro so you know what to get. I guess that um, the Dollar Tree, I believe somebody told me, carries those Velcro dots. So yeah, we did this with the uh, beautiful Hello Designer Series paper. This paper is free during celebration. It's our 12 by 12 Designer Series paper. So I've got a couple birthday cards here. I actually sent one of these to Steve's mom. We mailed her a present because her birthday was this last week. 
and um, we sent her one of these and she loved it and I put a little note on it you guys so I you know these lay flat to go in an envelope they do fit in an envelope and so I laid this flat and I put a little post-it note right here that said this is a TP card folded around and attach the velcros and she totally did it so I know that I get a lot of questions about well, how are people gonna know how to put those together? And you can just put a little note in them, right? So there's my TP cards. And hang on, let me set these aside so I don't wreck them. Then I also have my Grassy Grove class. This one is selling really fast and it is a beautiful, beautiful set of dies with the stamp set. My class also has the new Horizons Designer Series paper with all the beautiful Horizon watercolors on it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So that's available right now on my blog. And also the spring retreat that I do with Barb and Dina is open for registration. You get a $10 early bird price before the 28th of the month. If you're on my team, that $10 discount continues until we close registration. So that's just one of the benefits of um, being on my team. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the inside here. Hang on, here we go. Just put a little strip of that beautiful paper in there. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. All the details for these classes are on my blog. My blog address is www.astampabove.com. Join my team. It's the best time, you guys. It is celebration right now until, well, through the 28th of February. When you join for $99, you get to choose $125 in product, and you get to add on two stamp sets, any price, to that. So you're getting like 200 and some dollars worth of stuff for $99, free shipping, and you get to be part of something bigger. Being part of my team is so much fun. I just got a card swap in the mail. Team swap, every month we do a card swap. Anybody can join it. Um, I don't know how many cards we got. Somewhere it's between 15 and 20. So I have some great ideas to share with you. One of the cards we're gonna make today comes from that card swap. So I can't hardly wait, yay. Um, did I pack and take my whole Stampin' Studio with me? Dar Dolly wants to know. Dolly, I did not. I was pretty impressed with what I took with me. Um, I've got three Stampin' Up! boxes over here, and I had uh, the die cutting machine in a box, and I ordered ink pads for the ones that I didn't have duplicates for. Melanie says, love being a part of Kelly's team. You will love it. It's a, a fabulous place to be. Um, and I placed an order to get, I, I bought the assorted packs of cardstock and had it shipped here with some other stuff. But um, it was, it, I was really surprised and I'm doing relatively well. I've had to improvise, improvise a few times, just know that. But um, I'm doing really well with the supplies that I chose to bring, so yay. Um, oh yeah, and you get, who said that, Denise? You get a paper pumpkin kit as part of your starter kit to be a discount shopper on my team. Plus you get a 20% discount on everything you order after you order your kit. You'll love it. Hi, Debbie. I hope you are doing well. I'm happy to see you on here. And I see Mary Paul is on here. Okay. Please make sure. Give me a thumbs up. You could do that right now on Facebook. That really helps me out. Also, if you're watching later on YouTube, click that thumbs up button. It's very helpful to me. On YouTube, you'll want to click on that bell. That'll give you a notification anytime I go live. Okay. Um, it's a lot of fun and it helps you remember when and it's like, oh yeah, Kelly's live right now. Yay. And if you have time, you can pop in and join us. Also, share the video. You can share on YouTube. You can also share on Facebook right now. If you're watching a replay on Facebook, same thing. Hit that like button, push that share button because when you comment, share, and order, there's three different ways to win prizes, and that is going to bring me into Prize Patrol. It's time. I have three fabulous prizes here. I brought prizes with me for the whole month, I think, so that I would be able to carry on as usual or as usual as I can from Florida, right? Yeah. <laughs> Debbie says I am good medicine. Debbie, that just makes my heart happy. Yay. 
Oh, it's 17 below and Ryan Leander, Wendy Lisa, or Wendy Sue says, holy cow. That's chilly. I don't know what the temperature is here, but it's pretty nice out. It was raining when we went to the airport, but it's nice now. Okay, for commenting on my last Facebook Live, we have Joanne Prosser, and this was so funny because Joanne is from Spring Hill, Florida. If you guys remember last week when I did prizes, I had two people that were drawn from Florida. So how crazy is that, that I'm drawing people in Florida and I'm in Florida? Um, Joanne, these beautiful iridescent rhinestone basic jewels are going to be on their way to you on Monday. And did I say she's from Spring Hill, Florida? I think I did. <laughs> Randy says, joining the team is great. There's no pressure. There is no pressure. I will never push you to do anything more than you want to do with it. If you just want to get a discount on all your products and be part of all the fun, that's great. If you want to do this as a business, I can help you. Um, I've done pretty well with this. So, and I've done um, this for almost 18 years, next month in March, almost 18 years. So I, I can help a sister out or a brother. Um, next up, we have, for sharing my video last week, well, let me show you the pretty side of these. We have the Fan Baker's Twine. You get three different colors of Baker's Twine. We've got the evergreen, the red and white, and the misty moonlight. This is going out to Mary Emilio in Worth, Illinois. Congratulations! Juanita wants to know if we rented a VBRO. We did not. Um, my cousin and her husband, who we hunt with her husband, so we see him kind of frequently, um, he, they bought this condo three years ago, and their, his sister and brother-in-law own the condo next door. And so they rented out every year for February and March. And they asked us if we would be interested in renting it for February. And he said he'd rather rent to somebody he knows than a stranger because they just, they just rent it, right? And so we said, yeah. <laughs> so here we are. That's how we got this place. So it's theirs. And they come down here in um, January and March, and they have a wedding down here in Florida in August, so they'll be back. So they just bounce back and forth. And from our hometown airport, which is Appleton, Wisconsin, as of March, Appleton's Allegiant Air is going to be flying right out of Appleton into um, Sarasota, Florida. So that's going to be awesome. Can someone please tell me what the stars are for? Yeah, um, I don't know how to say your name because it looks really pretty, but uh, don't worry about, I don't know what the stars are either. They're annoying is what they are. So if we don't do stars here, don't worry about it. Uh, okay, and Nancy said, from across the state in Jupiter, Florida, where I spend the winter, I hope you are having uh, fun in the sunshine. We are, we're really enjoying ourselves. Thank you so much. Um, for placing an order between last week's Facebook Live and today, Calming Camellia. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is so, so beautiful. So beautiful. This is an exclusive set that you can only get when you place a $300 order or have a party that reaches $300. So you can have a catalog party, you can have an in-person party, you can place a big order. You can get your friends together and all place one order, that's a catalog party, and get this for free. This is going out to Vicki Zwiebel of Defiance, Ohio. Vicki placed an order with me between last week and this week, and she was the drawing winner on that. So congratulations, Vicki. I hope you love this as much as I do. It is so, so pretty. All right, let me set these aside. Hang on, I, I don't wanna lose these because they could get, whoops, piled up in all the things you get put someplace and then I won't be able to find them. All right, I think that we're ready to stamp. What do you guys think? Are we ready to stamp? I think we are. Okay, oh, let me get my stuff up here. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this sliding latch card first because I wanna make sure that we have plenty of time to do it. And hang on while I grab my little, this is my little stand where I put my little notes with my dimensions. So I have that sitting right in front of me so that I don't lose it. And then I, you know, like, oh, where'd my dimensions go? Yeah, we don't want to look like that. 
<laughs> Nobody wants to see Kelly looking like that. Okay, I am going to unpack my bin here so we can flip this camera around and get everything rolling. Hang on while I set some stuff up. There's a time, oops. Oh gosh, hang on. Oh, there it went. I just lost a die. There we go. Oh, and there's my Memento ink pad. I was looking for that, so I'm glad I found it. Next up, here we go. We're ready to roll. All right, I'm gonna flip you guys around. Oh, and I have to get you plugged in, so I'm glad I'm looking at this too. Oh, and it says that I have 200 stars. No clue what that means, like none. So don't worry about the stars. All right, hang on. We are going to get all this. Hope I don't push any wrong buttons and disconnect us. Let me get my phone plugged in. Here we go. Are we looking straight here? Looks pretty good. I think we're good. Yay! Good to roll. And I've got my iPad right over there so I can see what's happening. On there, I see Michelle Davis and Lori is coming in. Congratulations to the winners. You are so sweet. All right, here comes. Ooh, we've got all kinds of bits and pieces here. So here comes all of our card pieces. Now, I'm going to show you the products that we're going to be using here. I chose to use the um, Sunshine and Rainbows designer series paper. This comes in a six by six pack. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is free through the 28th of February because this is part of our celebration promotion. So when you um, place a $50 order, you can get a pack of this free. Now, if you love it a lot and you place a $100 order, you can get two packs free, three packs, four packs, however many you would like. And I guarantee you will love this because it's so pretty and fresh and... I love all the pretty colors. Okay, so rainbow and sunshine. Sunshine and rainbows, I always say it backwards. I'm gonna be using the driving by stamp set. This is kind of a vintage little stamp set. It's got some vintage cars in it. Look at, this is how I lose stuff. <laughs> that Apple watch, or maybe this is how I keep track of things. We are going to be using this stamp set. This is also part of our celebration promotion. With a $50 order, you can choose to get this for free. We have a whole bunch of different products that are free for the taking. Okay, then I've got our basic Stampin' Emboss powders. And this comes with white, clear, and black. You get all three of these in one package, so that's cool. And Steve just came back. He was at the gym this morning, so he is back and sweaty, it looks like. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. First thing we're going to do, I need to decorate an envelope because you know I have to do that, right? So I've got two and a half by six inch piece of designer series paper here, and I am just going to add some glue to my envelope flap. And we're gonna get that done right away. Oh, I forgot to tell you a really funny story, you guys. I'll have to tell you next week when the camera's facing me because it really does require some graphics. I hope I don't forget about it. It has to do with, you know, when I'm working at home, Steve is downstairs. I'm upstairs in my studio, right? So the only time we really see each other is when I come down to get something to eat or drink or he happens to come upstairs to do something or need to talk to me. He's Yeah, he can do that too. Look at how pretty that is. But with being here, like he's just came in the door and he's walking through and he's going in the other room and he's doing all the things. And so I'm chatting at him a little bit more, which apparently is annoying to him. <laughs> and next week on my Facebook Live, I will show you exactly what he did. <laughs> Don't let me forget, okay? <laughs> really funny. Okay, we need a little bit of scoring. So this, again, this card is called a sliding latch card. At least that's what I'm naming it because it makes sense. And oh, we're also, sorry you guys, we're also going to be using the um, rectangle stitch dies, some linen thread, mini glue dots. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, 
So we're gonna take this and we're gonna score this at four and a quarter. This is five and a half by 10 and a half, okay? We're gonna score it at four and a quarter and 10 and a half. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Eight and a half. <laughs> Four and a quarter and eight and a half. I'm so sorry. And by the way, just so you know, you will always find all the dimensions, still photos of my projects that I make on my Facebook Live, um, a complete shopping list so you can see what color inks I use or what color cardstock. You can see the name of the stamp set maybe on my blog at www.astampabove.com. Now, on the right-hand column on my blog, you will always find an order button. When you click on that, it takes you right to my Stampin' Up! store. This is my current host code. If you plan on placing an order with me, and I always appreciate your orders, this is the code that you should use if your order is under $150. And if your order is over $150, please don't use that code. You will get rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have those. Okay, eight and a half. So we did four and a quarter, eight and a half. Here we go. Now, let's get, we're gonna use this again, so I'm just gonna set it right here. We are going to get this burnished. And what I like to do with this, you guys, is I like to tuck this one in here, and we're gonna do this side, and then we're gonna, see how this is kind of bowing a little bit? If you do this, you're gonna push that and you're gonna force that down so it doesn't bow anymore, okay? So this is going to be our piece. Now what we need to do is I need to find whew, my pencil and hang on a second because I had it here and now it's missing. Here it is. Okay, we're gonna find my pencil and my ruler and we are going to go in and we're gonna cut off one inch. So right on this, this side piece, we're gonna do measure one inch from this edge to this edge and now we're gonna cut it from here down to this tip. So I'm gonna put this in my paper trimmer. I'm gonna put that little mark in the cutting channel and I'm gonna put the other tip right there in the cutting channel. So we're gonna do this. And then this, oh, hang on, I missed just a teeny bit. See how this is a little jagged here? We're gonna just trim that up, don't panic. Okay, now here's our card, okay? Now we've got designer series paper. And I chose to use this pattern, and then I have another one to share with you using the same paper but different patterns. So I'm gonna use this one. This is gonna go right on here. And then we're gonna use this particular piece for the side piece, but we need to cut that, right? We need to cut that um, slant. So what we're gonna do is we are going to, I just wanna make sure I'm doing this right, yep. We're gonna measure this at three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna do, this is one and three quarters. So this is one and three quarters wide by five and a quarter. And we're gonna measure it at three quarters of an inch. So actually, let me say that again, over to one inch. Three quarters this way, one inch this way. So we're measuring to one inch and put a mark. We did the same thing on this piece, okay? Over to one inch, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put that little mark in our channel to cut, and then we're gonna put the um, little corner in the channel to cut. Make sure you hold onto this so it doesn't move on you. There we go. Let's see if this fits. We're all holding our breath, right? Oh, it fits. <laughs> That's really good news. Okay, let me move this out of the way now. For those of you that may have come in late, this is a sliding latch card, and it's really, really cool. 
I'll show you the original one that I got, which is, what did I do with it? Oh, Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. I know I have it here someplace. I'll find it. Don't worry. I'll show you the original that I got from Armstrong, Sherry Armstrong. Okay, I'm going to put my glue on this side. And we're going to put this right here. And don't you love that? You're going to see lots of black card bases from me because I brought a whole pack of black cardstock. And of course, a card base, you know, uses a lot. So my assorted packs <laughs> aren't going to last long if I use them for card bases. So we'll be doing lots of black cards. All right. So we've got this on here. Now we're going to put this layer on here. And make sure if you use a pattern paper that has a right side up that you are gluing this on right side up, not upside down. Here we go. And this is going to be our card front. Isn't that pretty? I love this. All right, so I'm going to go on a hunt right now for my card that is the sliding latch card that I can't seem to locate. Oh, good grief. Well, I'll find it. I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way. Get less clutter out of here, right? I don't even know what I did with that. How does that happen to me? Hang on, take a drink. Rest easy. We will find it. Got all our fingers and toes crossed. I took it out and told you who made it and sent it to me. Okay, so we're just gonna keep going here. All right, now I've got a white layer for the inside and this is four by five and a quarter. And then I've got this strip, which is gonna match our envelope, right? And this is half inch by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to put this right inside my card. And I like to leave a little bit of white over on the margin. So it just makes it pop a little bit. I like that look. You can put it all the way over to edge if you want your designer paper. We're gonna glue this right inside our card. I don't know if I should have waited. Hang on, I got this crooked. And done this after I get done. Doing all the things, but we'll find out and I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> okay, so now we have a little scrap. I've got a scrap of designer series paper here. I'm bringing them in a piercing mat. This piercing mat is what I use for my stamping surface. It helps keep my tabletop clean so that this isn't such a mess. I've got Memento ink and I've got the little um, VW bus. And one of my customers, longtime customers, her and her husband restore these and they always have really cool ones. And uh, Katie is her name and Raylene is her mom. And I've always just gotten such a big kick out of it because they're very nostalgic, right? They're a lot of fun. Now, I've got the light basic black marker and I thought, oh, maybe this would look good if I took and colored in my tires. Uh-oh, Steve's phone is ringing. That was weird. I don't know where he left it. Maybe it's with my card I can't find that I just had. <laughs> what do you think? Okay, there we go. So I've got my, I messed up here and I colored that inside. So I'm gonna do both of them, right? This is how we fix things. There we go. Okay, and I just thought that looked neat. Now I was really, on. oh, look at, I was trying to stick this in my glue. Let's pay attention. I'm still worried about that card I can't find. Um, I did a whole bunch of different colors of these not knowing for sure which one I would like. And look, I messed this one up too, so then I had to start again. <laughs> that seems to be a theme with me. And you're just gonna cut this little guy out. And he's pretty simple to cut out. If you wanted to make a bunch of these, you could actually stamp them up and go sit and watch the Super Bowl and cheer for the Bengals or the Rams and cut a bunch of these out. 
And then make sure you stop cutting while you're watching the funny commercials because let's be real. For a lot of us, that's what the Super Bowl is all about. <laughs> Unless your hometown team is playing. I like to leave just a little bit of margin when I'm fussy cutting because I just think it, it looks um, neat, like not messy neat. That like cool neat. Hang on, I got a little jagged part right there. Er, there we go. Okay, so I've got three different, three different little love bug buses here. Aren't they cute? Just super, super cute. Okay, now I took these dies, and you just take a die that fits the size that you want. This is gonna be uh, a little bit two inches two inch circle and then the corresponding scallop die. And you're gonna want two colored, and I use basic black of the scallop and one of the white. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to use Versamark ink. And I've got the words, you've got style. And I'm just gonna stamp that right on here. We're going to use, oh, that's what that little piece of paper was for, and I don't know where it went. So hang on, I gotta grab another piece of paper. I'll do this one. I won't leave this again. Use a piece of paper, and I'm gonna bring in my white embossing powder. Make sure you close your ink pad up first. Magical. I see I've got some edges here because I pushed too hard. Hang on, I'll show it to you. See, I've got some edges. You can just take a little paintbrush and I don't have one here in Florida, so I have to improvise. This is, you know, the little things that I'm doing to improvise because I don't, I didn't bring everything with me. Okay, that looks really good. Hang on. We'll get our embossing powder put away. I like this, that you get all three of these in here. Now we also have a metallics where you get copper, I think it's copper, gold, and silver called metallics Stampin' Emboss Powders. So you get three of those in there too. Okay, you're gonna need a heat tool and we're gonna do all that. And of course, through the magic of TV, I've already done this. So you can cut this in your paper cutter if you want, but I'm just going to try to freehand it because, well, I've been improvising pretty good. I did bring my paper cutter, don't worry about that. And I'm just gonna cut this out. There we go. Okay, I've got black dimensionals here. So we'll put a couple of those on. I'm not gonna put them real far out to the edges because they're gonna fit on this little circle. So we're gonna take this, I'm gonna use that one on the inside. It's got kind of a little mark on the, you can't see it, but I can. Now I also tried using designer paper here instead of the white but it just seemed to be a little bit too much for this card because this is gonna go like this. I don't know, maybe it would work, but we're gonna stick with our original plan. So now I'm gonna take this little guy and I'm going to put him on dimensionals and still searching for the missing card. <laughs> Did you guys see where I put it? Ugh. So frustrating when I do that. Okay, here we go. We're gonna put this little guy right here. Yay! And then we'll put our little sentiment that says, you've got style. We're gonna put that right down here. Yay! Okay, now here, oh, one more little thing. One more little thing before we get into the sliding mechanism. And I actually just figured that out this morning. So we're gonna do one, two. I want three wraps on here. This is a bow jig. 
I have some of these if anybody wants one, but you'll have to wait until March. So contact me in March and I'll be happy to get you one. They're $10, that includes shipping. There we go. So we got a triple bow here. They make perfect bows every single time. Or you can have somebody make one for you. It's just holes in a piece of wood with some, with some nails that don't have heads. That's the ticket for these. Okay. Yay. I love this. I just love the linen thread with this. I think it's just very kind of vintagey. And now we're going to grab a mini glue dot. I like to roll these up in a log. That's what my friend Barb calls it, a log. I'll just put that right at the top of my little BW bug. Oh my gosh, how stinking cute is that, right? Just adorable, love it. Okay, I was just looking at my iPad to make sure everything's still rolling right with that. Now, uh, we've got this. Now. Here's the deal, here's what we need to do. We need to put a slit in here. We need a slit in this part and we need a slit that goes into this part. And so what I did is I took my circle and I decided how far did I want that slit to go? I want it to go about, let me tell you a little measurement here. From the edge of the black about seven eighths of an inch to the end. Now this is the rectangle dies. This is the smallest one right here. But any type of punch that's about this width would work just fine too. Um, and, and what you're looking at here, you guys, is the width of your dimensionals. So your dimensional is about three eighths of an inch, you need it to be just a little bit bigger than that. So whatever you decide to use to do this. But I want this side of this slit to be covered up. So I'm giving it a little dry fit here. And then I want, I don't wanna see the slit coming way out here. That's not gonna be attractive, right? So I'm gonna grab my, oh, I found the card too. Yay, <laughs> it's on the floor. Next to my die cutting machine, I'm gonna grab my temporary tape and I'm gonna bring it up here. And now I'm going to look at this and make sure I have it straight on here. Get this out of here. And we're gonna open this card up. And now I only wanna cut up to here. Make sure I got this straight, okay? I don't wanna cut this end off. So my gosh, how do you do that? Well, we're getting kind of fancy here, you guys. And again, this is just the way I'm doing it because it is what, it is the dye that I have available to use here in Florida. And it's probably the dye I would use even if I was at home. All right, so we're gonna bring in our die cutting machine. And the ticket to this is we're only going to put our cutting plate up to our, dis, our um, temporary tape. And when we run this through the machine, the only thing that's gonna get cut is the part that's under the cutting plate. This won't get cut because you don't have any pressure on it. Does that make sense? This is how you can do half circles. Um, where did my dies go? Right here. If you need a half scallop, you would, you would put it on your cardstock and you would only put your plate up halfway and run it through. So that's how you get these halfy, halfy things. All right, so I'm going to move this back on my side so I can see what I'm doing here. And here we go. I'm gonna push this through so that I can get my plate only up to here, okay? So it's only going up to my tape. That's where my plate is ending. And now I'm gonna push this in, okay? Keep everything lined up here. This wants to pull sideways. Oh, hang on. Nope, it's not working. Hang on. Oh, where'd my tape go? Oh, jeez Louise. That's never happened. Oh, hang on. I gotta get a new piece of tape.
This is my temporary tape that I like to use. It's low tech artist tape. I get it oops, from Amazon and it's not expensive. But before you use it on your cardstock, I like to take it and put it on your clothes a few times just to get some of the sticky off because you don't want it to be super sticky or when you go to take it off, it's gonna tear your cardstock. Okay, let's try this again. I don't know where my temporary tape went, but I'm sure it'll come out. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we're gonna go. Oh, now I gotta line this up again, hang on. open this up and see how far I want to go here. Not like that. Keep it straight. Get my hair out of there. Okay, let's see if I can get this right this time now. Okay, you want to open it all back up and you only want your cutting plate to be on the part you want to cut, which is this end down here. Okay, this really isn't that hard. It's just giving me a hard time because, well, you know, people are watching. This is what happens. There we go. And I'm sorry, I'm jiggling the table, but this isn't exactly the greatest table for stamping. Okay. Let's see what happened here. See this? Now we didn't have that end and we didn't want that end to be cut. So what we're gonna do with this other end now is we're gonna close our card up and we are going to put this right in here, just like this and I'm gonna tape it onto the side panel, and now we're gonna cut that. <clears throat> oh, there's our tape. I like to just put my tape on the side of my machine and reuse it over and over until it's not usable anymore. Okay. I didn't even have a hot flash, you guys, when all that went wrong. <laughs> now you wanna be careful when you're using the tape the first, second, third time that you don't tear your paper. So just be gentle with it. And then after a while, it just, you know, after a few times it loses its sticky. So that's not so sticky, it still works. Okay, so look at what we just did. We just did this. Now we need to get this piece out of here. And you can put this in your paper cutter if you want to, or you can trim it with your scissors or an X-Acto knife. I think an X-Acto knife would be perfect, but I don't have one here because I couldn't bring everything. Okay, so here's our little slot for our latch. Are you guys still with me? Is everybody still here? <laughs> All right. Here comes this back now. This is going to go on the back and it's just kind of going to be hidden. And what we want to do here is we're going to put this right here and this is going to be our sliding mechanism. What I found when I was making this, that you want to make sure and put your dimensionals over here on the right side of your opening. So I'm gonna put one here and I'm gonna put one right next to it. You do not wanna get them over here because this needs to move back and forth to do the sliding latch thing, okay? 
And then I wanted this to be big enough to cover this whole thing so that when it's closed, you don't see any openings here. Does that make sense? Okay, we're gonna do this and this. And now we're gonna see if this works. Hang on, I'm not gonna press this down really hard. I'm just gonna press it down a little bit. And then I wanna pull this off to the side to make sure that it goes far enough to open this side because the first one I made, it didn't. I had to, I, I like tore it off four times. So I'm really glad that I'm able to oops, share this with you so you can see how to do that so that it doesn't interfere because now again, I would put a little thing on here that says pull when I send this to my person, they're gonna pull that, it's gonna open like that and it's gonna do this. Is anybody there? I don't see any. There's my comments coming up. I haven't seen comments forever, you guys. Okay, so I'm just reading. Let me read some of your comments here. So I, because I didn't have any comments up for a very long time. I don't know what happened to them, but they quit. You can never cut straight with scissors. Well, yep, then always use your paper trimmer because I know, I know exactly what you're saying, Kathy. I, I totally get it. This looks so confusing, I know it does, but what I want you to do is just make one. Just make one. Use some scrap paper that you don't care about and just do this. And depending on what you use here to make your opening, your channel, you might have a punch that's the perfect width that's just that big. Um, I'm thinking like, remember that little punch that was just kind of like oval on both ends? What was that word window punch? That might work perfect here, but I, I don't have that anymore. So I used what I had here and available to share with you, but whoops, here it is. Yay, isn't it cute? And then we have our matching envelope. Yay. Super cute, right? Now I'll show you the other one. This is the first one that I made. Look at that envelope. Again, the same Sunshine and Rainbows paper. And I would put a little pull note on here. Pull. And here we go. And you can see right here. And again, when you, when you put that scallop behind the channel, make sure that you only put two dimensionals down at this end and that you have it closed for a dry fit before you attach anything. Because the problem that I had, I had to tear this up like four times because when I pulled this all the way, it didn't go far enough because I had dimensionals in the way under there for this to open. So practice, just make one and practice with some, using some old paper you don't care about before you crank out the good stuff, right? There we go. There's our cute little VW bug. I just love this. Absolutely adorable. I hope you guys love this. Now here's the card that I got in the mail. Isn't this pretty? This uses the Expressions in Ink designer paper. This is some vellum, um, embossed vellum. And then this is from Sandy Armstrong and she stamped on the back of this. Whereas I just used a black scallop, okay? So there you guys go. Sliding latch card, that's what I'm calling it. That makes sense, right? And this is Sandy's, whoops. Very, very pretty card. Sandy, thank you so much. I said Sherry before, I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for sharing this with me because it was very fun, it was challenging, but I think you guys are gonna have a lot of fun with it, right? Okay, next up, let me set these aside. Pick all my stuff up here. I'll just set these over here. We'll bring those back out at the end if I have time. I, I would like to go to the airport with Steve to pick up our friends. So um, hopefully we'll have time to do these next two cards. And if we don't, don't worry, I'll show you the third one. Um, sometime next week, like on the next Facebook Live or sometime between now and then. 
I was hoping that I could come in and do some lives while I'm here in Sarasota other than my Sunday night live. But guess what? I just have not had time with the baby being here. And of course, I wanted to spend every second with her because it would be rude not to. <laughs> right? Okay. Let me get this out of the way. And we will be ready. Go. Are you leaving? Yeah. It's 12.30. What time does their flight doesn't get in until 2? Well, don't you think leaving at one would be enough? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. Right. Okay. Here we go, you guys. We are going to. Again, with the black car base. I told you, right? I told you what I was doing. Okay, we're gonna be using, where did that paper go? Right here. The Pattern Party Designer Series paper. This comes 12 by 12. I just cut it down to six by six to bring it with me. But look at all this black and white and colored on the other side. This paper is only $18. I believe you get four sheets of each pattern, 12 by 12, but it's only available as a host item which means when your order hits $150, you can use your $15 in Stampin' Rewards to buy $18 worth. Aw, oh, everybody's telling me I should go. You guys are so sweet. Really? Okay, I will. I will do this card for you. How about if we do maybe a Facebook Live this week if I can get that in? I'll do a special one for you guys. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. I really should go. Maybe I don't want her to. Maybe he doesn't want me to, he just said. Can you believe he just said that? Oh my good Lord. I can't believe you just said that. Okay, so we have two cute sliding latch cards. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. I promise I will, I will um, pay you back for this one. You guys are so sweet. Don't forget to share that video. Give me a thumbs up. This is my blog. I will have photos and the link to the video to watch again on my blog, probably not until later tonight. And um, I'll get that all up and going. You guys are the sweetest. Thank you so much. Have yourselves a wonderful Sunday, a fabulous week. And whoever your Super Bowl team is, I'm written for the Bengals. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> Take care.